Oh, buddy, man. It's been a while since I've done a Spirit Box song. They're one of the bands that kind of got me started doing this stuff, and I used to really hate them. I've kind of gotten away from that. I uh, had to, like, calm down and get over myself a little bit. And the last, I think, two tracks that I heard by them, I liked quite a bit. Uh, yeah, this song's called The Void. It's the new Spirit Box song. We're going to check it out. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a great day, and let me go ahead and pull up. We'll get this going, okay? All right, Spirit Box, let's see what you got tonight. Um, so I just listened to the new Sleep Token song, and after hearing that, this is so much better. They might get, they might benefit just from the fact that I heard a song that I just couldn't get into. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I already like the production on this and the guitar. I needed some good, good guitar right now. So I really enjoy her singing more than I do her screaming. So this song I'm already more interested in. Now, is it going to blow my hair back and am I going to give it a 10? I don't know. I haven't gotten that far into the song yet, but I do enjoy this. I really, I'm really, I'm liking this uh, quite a bit. If she sings the whole way through and then gives a little screaming, I figured something out and I don't know why this is the case, but when you hear a song where they scream and then they sing, I figured out the clean vocals. You know what? I'll get into that after the song. Sorry. This is... Yeah. I like this. That was interesting. I did not expect this from this band. I'm I'm enjoying this. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, so if you're a fan of this channel or you've been to this channel before, you know that I oftentimes say that I don't like good cop, bad cop vocals. I've figured out what I do and don't like. I'll make this quick. I don't like when you're screaming and then you slow down and do a clean vocal chorus. But I do like it when you sing and then give me an amped up chorus. And I don't know what that feeling difference is, but there's a difference there in my personal experiences and like what I enjoy. And so this, where she's starting off singing, if she screams later, it's going to be A-OK -okay with me. But I figured out that I don't like the scream, sing, scream. I like the, uh, no, no. Yeah, scream, sing, scream. I do like the clean vocals, scream vocals, clean vocals thing. Don't really understand it, but I figured out that that's what, something that I like. It's really annoying to know that that's what the difference is, and it drives me nuts. But, you know, I've got, I've got a lot going on up here, man. So this is like, this might be my favorite song that I've heard by them. This is much more like sustainable and much more marketable than their other stuff. And their other stuff was fine as far as that's concerned. But this is something you can hear. I wouldn't be surprised to hear this on like a Walmart or a Target. You know what I'm saying? It's still kind of heavy too, but she's singing so pretty that it takes you kind of away from the fact that it's a heavy song. This is the best of both worlds. I'm really surprised I like it this much. But I'm glad that they, this is a pretty great song. So far. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. I'm going to rewind it a second. I'm sorry that I stopped right there, but um, this song is really good. Is it going to get heavier a little bit? I feel like this is this is the this is more my speed. Oh man, why? So I w- I want to know if there's any kind of psychology behind that as to why I like one and not the other. Because most people that I've said that to, they're like, oh, it doesn't sound that different to me. And then when I point it out, they're like, oh, it does sound different. So I don't know if it's because I'm just grew up on songs that were more like that, where they were like the thing that like you know singing the song, then there was like the rah rah chorus. I don't know if maybe it's just just because I I don't I don't know it's weird isn't it it's a super strange thing that I can't figure out but I like to get on here and talk with you guys and open up about it and I feel like I've come a, become a much better reviewer of music and reactor of, to songs by being able to open up and talk to y'all about this stuff and like welcome criticism and not let it bother me as much uh, in which I'm still not perfect at that either so it's it's a it's a tough thing but we're all here for each other man and I'm here to help you guys out as much as you're here to help me out and. I think that was something that I wasn't uh, clear about, you know, when I first started doing this. And so I want to do all genres of music, man. I want people from all walks of life to be able to come here and hang out and be comfortable. And whether or not I like a song should be irrelevant almost, you know. Okay, yeah, I'm officially like into this song. I, I I I like it. I don't know how much, but I like it. Like it starts at a five, and it can either go back or, or forward. That's how I grade my songs. I start them right in the middle, and you can either like we're you know can either lose some points, you should gain some points. I think this one right now is somewhere like a seven and a half for me. It's just gone tick 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 up, you know. Okay. Sneaky heavy, man. Sneaky heavy. This song is interesting. Uh, the production is pretty solid on it, too. I do think I'd like to have the mids turned up a little bit more, but overall, the production is pretty good. I, I'm enjoying this song, man. Wow, no screaming there. I was I was expecting some some growly vocals. Okay. Wow, I'm I'm impressed, and I I mean that does some that's showing some restraint to do that because you know that they know what the fans want, and they're making a song that they want to make and hoping that people like it instead of making a song that people are gonna like. At least that's the way I'm interpreting this. Good job, dude. I mean. If you can get me to quit being snotty about it, you're doing something right because I'm a pain in the ass sometimes. It's truly unfortunate that she's stuck in a glass case of emotion right here, but the song is pretty solid, man. I'm going to finish it out here in a second, and then uh, I got a couple of comments, and I'll get you guys out of here. Interesting. Very interesting. The abrupt stop was pretty wild, too. Uh, Huh, man, I don't know what to say about that song. I, I uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised right now. I'm just kind of like 
sitting here going, okay, okay. I, I, I really like that they stuck with the clean vocal thing. Like, I think that objectively, that song is probably hovering around a seven five to an eight, and I think subjectively, it's probably almost exactly in the same spot for me. So I'm just gonna leave it up in the air like that and say it's a seven and a five, seven and a half to an eight to me somewhere in that neighborhood. And you know, one day I might like a little less, and I might like a little more. But I thought that was a for like a good heavy song. It was nice and pleasant and sneaky heavy in her vocals. I think I think I'm happy that she's confident enough to sing like that because I like it. I like it a lot. Like I like this far better than I did stuff like Holy Roller. Um, Good for them, man. I hope their fans are enjoying it, and I hope they're having a good time, and you know, I hope they're successful and all that jazz. But that was wild, man. Good job, Spirit Box. I, I'm just—I don't know what else to say about it. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And uh, have a good day, everybody. Peace.